Welcome to my beauty maintenance routine. Lately, I haven't been taking the time to do, you know, that everything shower and all that you want to do. So today is the day. We started out looking pretty rough, but that's because it was behind cleaning days and just work days between working and nine to five and just trying to manage your own responsibilities and relationships. It just, it's a lot to sometimes take care of yourself. So today is the day I decided waking up on a Saturday morning, we are doing this. So I decided to start off by making myself a warm beverage. Lately, I've been really into tea, but today I just wanted something simple and something to hydrate me. So I boiled some water, cut up a lime, and I did this when I was really sick earlier in the year and it was just so soothing. So I want the same vibes, soothing vibes, not sick vibes. And I just squeeze a lime into a glass and add some honey with the boiling hot water. And it's just delicious. I actually like to start my mornings this way. I just don't always remember to do it in the morning, especially if I'm rushing to get to work or whatever, but definitely the best way to hydrate and feel soothed. So I take my tea upstairs and I usually like to close myself in a room with all the products that I'm using and just get to it. So took off my glasses because I can't see without vision. So I got to put contacts in and this is something I've been thinking about lately. Do you guys feel the need to put contacts in in order to shower? Because I can't see in the shower, especially for an everything shower type of day. Like I need all the reinforcements. A few months ago, I used a gloss on my hair to make it more brunette, and I just feel like I need a little bit of maintenance, so we'll do a hair mask later. I need to get my wax warmer starter for when we wax my face, and I'm gonna actually do a little concoction with tea tree oil, rosemary oil, peppermint oil, and jojoba oil. I struggle with psoriasis, especially in my hairline and behind my ears. I also added argan oil. It's just really intense sometimes, especially the flare-ups in the winter, and leaving this in my scalp for a little bit really helps. What's weird is when I go to Florida, my psoriasis gets so much better. It's almost gone. Up north, I got to do this regularly and instead of heating the oil and putting into my hair, I just blow dry the oil after to heat it up and I cover it either with saran wrap or this time I was being kind of lazy so I applied a hair milk for the rest of my hair and just put it up in a bun and put a towel over it. So the light turned green on my wax warmer, which means that it's ready. A lot of people ask me where I got it. I ordered it on Amazon, there's a ton there. And some people ask about the temperature. I don't have a temperature setting. It's just an on or off and it requires like 40 minutes to warm up, which is pretty annoying, but it's sufficient for what I need it to do. So I use Q-tips and just kind of pick the places that I feel like need the most attention and do do the dang thing. <laughs> Since wax doesn't get everything, I go in with a tweezer and get the remaining strands. It's so much easier to do all this when you're watching a show that's kind of mindless. So I was watching season six of Love is Blind and let me tell you, <laughs> there's some moments you'll see me like shocked at what's happening. So I decided to use some new products this time around. This is from Peach and Lily. I haven't really used too much from them so I decided to try them out really like the cleanser and then Drew Barrymore has the brand Flower and I really like this lip scrub. I'm actually going to pack it with me and take it with me when I head over to Florida. I'm using just any facial spray. This is from Mario Badescu and I found these little uh, razors for your face at TJ Maxx for a really good price and these are like my favorite style of razor so I don't really care who the designer is or whatnot like Revlon makes the same style, but they work really well for my skin, so I decided to go ahead and shave the peach fuzz off of my face. I was shocked at how much was there. It's definitely been a while. <laughs> Thank you. 
After this, I went in with the Wild Dew Treatment Essence from Peach and Lily. I also like this. It was very calming and just nothing too intense. And then I went in with a face mask. This is one of my favorites from Strivectin. It's just full of all the goodies and it's really fun because it changes to blue. Um, and it just makes me feel like I'm having a self-care day. So I watched the show while that sat on my face, washed it off, and came back with another beverage. This was the Cherry Vanilla Olipop. I have one of these a day. It's so good for my digestion. I feel so much better when I have it, and it's just like a little treat, you know? So now I'm gonna go into the nitty-gritty. I have been neglecting the blackheads on my nose and on my chin, so I decided to steam my face using a steamer I got off of Amazon, and using this tool, which my cat decided to join for the festivities, please don't mind him, and I went in and after you steam your face, you can get closer to pulling out all the sebum from that area. I went in a little intensely and got it all out, but it definitely irritates my skin because I'm trying to get everything out, so be very gentle. Um, I've used this multiple times and I know how my skin is and the sides of my nose are usually dry as is. So I do this once every like maybe three months if I'm lucky, usually it's once every six months. But after I do that, I cleanse my face and I'm very, very gentle with what I use. But after cleansing my face, I wanted to make sure that the pores and everything was nice and properly exfoliated, so I did go in with this Neutrogena AHA blend. I turned on some calming music and got all my products that I needed for my shower. I've been loving these things, and I lit a candle. This was out of nowhere. I decided that maybe I do want to take a bath, so I had one like shower bath oil thing from Lush that I bought probably like last year or maybe two years ago. I don't even know, but... I decided to use it. I've been in this like era of just using the things and not saving them for a special occasion. So I decided to pull this out, just use it and add some Epsom salts. Obviously Mishka had to come check it out. He loves water. He's scared to be in it, but he's super intrigued by it. And I decided to have a nice little evening. I ended up sitting in the bath for way longer than expected. It was so nice. I haven't slowed down like this in a really long time, um, so I highly recommend if you haven't in a while. And I ended up reading, I have been reading the series Akatar. I finished the second book, but while I was filming this, I was still reading the second book. Um, it really had me hooked, especially the end there. So, anyways, finally decided to shower, um, spent like two hours in the bath, basically, and then showered and used my shampoo for my psoriasis, and then went in with the K18. This is so good for, like, really getting the gunk out of your hair. I didn't realize how much product buildup I had until I used this K18. Uh, shampoo, so it's now one of my favorites, and I obsess over this EOS shaving cream shaved and moved on to the color therapy mask from Madison Reed. This is what I use in between using the Madison Reed gloss to kind of give it a little bit more color so that that blonde's not really coming out, and had to pull out some of my leftover psoriasis that was coming out, and this is when we go in with all the products. I'm going to start with a Fanola restructuring spray mask. This is just to help give some nutrition to my hair. And then I've been using this hair mist that kind of doubles as a leave-in conditioner in a way. It just helps to hydrate my hair and my hair is so dry, it definitely needs it. I've been loving this K18 hair oil and then I go in with the OGX hair oil, but this one's more for the smell. I don't even know what the benefits are, it just smells divine. And we moved over to my vanity and started my skincare because my nose, obviously, has gone through a lot. I went in and put some A plus D ointment on it and then went in with that same essence we used earlier. And then I know this 
Oh, this is not a sponsored video, I promise, but I've been trying out a bunch of Peach and Lily products and I had this face mask that I didn't even realize I had, so I wanted to use it and oh my goodness, it was soaked. So don't waste those good juices and make sure you use them on your decollete and like the rest of your body if there's too much. But I applied this mask and I think this was my favorite thing from Peach and Lily that I tried this day. I ended up using the remainder of the liquid from the bag on my chest, and yeah, this mask is a winner. I'm already on chapter 58, continued reading, and once I took the mask off, I went in with this Peach and Lily serum, and then went in with these like reusable eye masks. You guys have seen me use these before, they're from Pacifica. I was getting to such a good part of the book that after I put these on, I just sat there and read. It was so good. I finished the book this night and it was so nice to have like a self-care night while I was doing that. I painted my nails, took off the eye masks finally, and all you gotta do is just rinse them under some cold water and they kind of are back to where they were. I used the L'Oreal Revitalift um, serum, the one that has vitamin C and vitamin E. It was really good for just bringing my skin all together and I also decided to grab the one that has hyaluronic acid and just get my skin together. I'm gonna use the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream from Peach and Lily. It's a very light moisturizer, which is nice. And I went ahead and also added this like thicker gel nail polish on top of my color just to thicken it up and A plus D onto my face as like a final slugging ointment. And I went to bed because I was so tired and we were going to resume the hair in the morning. In the morning, I woke up to my hair looking pretty wild, but it's an easy fix. First, we're gonna go in with a heat protectant. I'm using this one from Macadamia and just spreading it throughout my hair. And I decided to use some rollers, but when my hair is already dry, I like to use heated rollers. These are hot rollers from Remington. I bought these, oh my gosh, I don't even know how many years ago. I think I had them from like high school. So I've been using them a lot lately actually and all you do is just roll your hair up and put the clip on and since they're hot, as they cool down and when you remove them, they give you curls. And it's like curling your hair without having to actually like do piece by piece and it's been actually really nice. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to do the bangs the way that I like to because I gave myself a haircut one night just spontaneous. I don't I don't even know. I recorded it for TikTok but I haven't posted it yet so if you want to see that uh, interesting clip it'll be up eventually but yeah I put this in through my hair and was watching the rest of the episodes for Love is Blind went in and decided to do my makeup. So this is the gel lotion um, from It Cosmetics. Use that as a prep and this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And we're going in with a YSL palette. This is my very first time using a YSL eyeshadows and I love them. I'm gonna start with the lightest, second to lightest color and I'm gonna apply that all over my eyelid and going in with that cranberry color on the outer half of my eye. And then I'm gonna take a different YSL palette and use this matte like cream color all over the inner corner and the inner half and then this hangover lip balm to just prep my lips for the rest of the makeup. And I decided to smudge a brown like eyeliner in the outer half and kind of create a wing and use a brush to really pull it out. It ended up looking pretty nice. It <laughs> reminded me of how long it takes you to make sure that like both wings are matching. Ended up curling my lashes and trying out this YSL mascara. YSL, if you can tell, also sent me PR that I was trying out and I actually really do like it. My lashes still feel like they fall sometimes. I feel like I need a lash serum or something because they just, they're not in <laughs> lately and so I always put on fake eyelashes anyways. I'm using this color corrector under my eyes from LA Girl and now it's time to take out the curls. So I am always pleasantly surprised. I've never had like a really bad hair situation after using these curlers, but let me know what you think.
I told you the bangs end up looking a little silly, still trying to figure that out. I'm using this Beach Waver Team Texture Spray. I've been really liking Beach Waver's, um, all of their like hair products. I have a shine spray that I'm going to use later on in the video as well, and I just love the fact that you don't have to like spray over and over again. It's like once you hold it down, it just sprays endlessly. It's a very nice packaging and makes the product just way better. And so here is the curls. I feel like they're so luscious and so voluminous, which is really funny because my final outfit is literally a sweat set. <laughs> I wasn't going anywhere this day. Just wanted to, you know, feel put together. Now I'm going to use the Rose Glow Mist from Revlon just to prep my skin and my Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation. I believe that's what it's called. And I put that all over, but I just felt like it might have been the wrong color, just a smidge. So I added this Kevin Aquan concealer because it was just the perfect color, I guess. So mixing them together, I think that actually ended up being exactly what I needed. I used my Tarte concealer and went in, blended that out, and I've been using a bunch of cream products lately and I've been liking these Gen C. I don't know what they're called, these little things that have like colors in them. So this is the coconut one. I use this for contour. It's basically like blushes, contours, all these colors, and they are fantastic. At first, I felt like they might be a little too intense the first time I used it, but once I've played around with them and know their pigmentation, they're amazing. I love the apricot one for my blush. I do feel like sometimes I have to go in and add just a little bit more um, with the blush, but the bronzer contour color is extremely pigmented for me. But they look great, and then I'm using this undercover lip liner thing from Buxom. It's like a thick crayon, and it's a nicer, warmer color that I thought matched pretty well with the eyeshadow. And I decided to try this YSL lipstick they sent over. It was a little bit too warm for me. Um, I'm more of like a lighter pink rose gal all the time. I've noticed I've actually been giving away and getting rid of a bunch of the lipsticks that are right right oh my god I wanted to say bright and red and I combine them into one word uh, red bright and just things that I'm not comfortable wearing or that I feel like don't flatter me and just really keeping the things that have been my go-to's here's that shine spray I told you guys about it's so great and this is pretty much the finished look this is me after all of that now I didn't do all the things I would normally do you guys have seen my other beauty maintenance video but this was enough. This was exactly what I needed this time. And then I had a little bit of this Kayla from Buxom lip gloss just to add a little bit of pink. But I'm happy with where I am. And next time I do it, maybe I'll self tan. But this time I was like, I just need a little bit of something to get myself together. I'm just glad that I got to wash my hair and do some face masks and get rid of my blackheads. Those were like the major things. Popped in some earrings and I was back to being who I am. So I encourage you to go take a day and do a beauty maintenance like routine or anything, just self-care, make yourself feel the best that you can. I love you and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!